Uh, hello, family, friends, internet. We're going to experiment with carbide, acetylene, and fire. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a multi-phase experiment planned. Uh, our first experiment is that we are going to drop a, car for, car, a carbide uh, rock into a saucer of water. And we are hoping that the acetylene gas produced by the meeting of the water and rock will be visible as the gas creates bubbles in the water. And so at this point, I am going to deposit rock into water. And yes, we do indeed have lots of bubbles, intense bubbles, which, and these bubbles are acetylene gas. So this is a highly successful phase one. We are now going to add fire for phase two and hope that we will get light. <laughs> We produce light and more fire. We get a consistent flame. So the bubbles are dwindling now, which is producing smaller explosions. I'm glad that it's not producing bigger explosions. <laughs> and I think that uh, the carbide is, the, the chemical reaction has seen its, seen its day. And now we are left with expired carbide and water, which makes for a milky little saucer of water. And I think that that was a very successful experiment in that we are all alive. Hello and welcome back to part two of nighttime experiments. Uh, earlier today we combined calcium carbide with water to create acetylene gas, uh, which has a byproduct of calcium hydroxide. But what we really care about is adding flame to the acetylene gas, which will create a nice uh, explosion, explosive fire for us. Earlier today, we used one calcium carbide pellet, but we've seen that. That's old hat now. So we're now going to go with, let's see, about five pellets. All right, here you go. And uh, we will now see some nice fizzies. Acetylene gas. All right. With fire. <laughs> fire. So we have no lights on right now, but the, the flame produced is obviously just lighting all of us up really nicely, which really highlights the applications of this reaction uh, in with more controlled uh, combinations. Miners could use these to, to light up their way and the same reaction was used in old-fashioned bicycle lights. So very handy and very fun. Well we're here again. Uh, so we decided at the end of our last experiment that it was not dangerous enough. So we have moved on to more supplies and more experiments. So what we're going to do here next is we're going to fill up uh, this balloon with carbide. Uh, then we're going to stretch this balloon over this uh, generic energy drink. And uh, then we're going to turn up the balloon, making the carbide pellets fall into the water. Uh, and uh, that will create that acetylene gas that we've seen in our previous two experiments. And from there we hope that this, the balloon will expand and turn into uh, a, an acetylene gas filled balloon. And from there we're going to try and light that on fire because <laughs> that should be pretty awesome. Agreed. Um, but we've decided that, you know, we don't really know what we're doing. So we think safety is mildly more important this round. So we are going to, first of all, wear safety glasses which are not really safety glasses. And we're not going to use this uh, lighter because it is not far enough away from the flammable gas. So we're gonna figure out how to light this from a safe distance. And we'll just figure that out. We'll just figure it out. <laughs> uh, so my lovely assistant, if you would start depositing carbide gas into this balloon. Carbide pellets. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, it seems a wimpy amount of pellets. I think it's a good amount of pellets. Safety. <laughs> and then we're going to 
stretch. All right. And so now we're going to see that at this point, classic reaction as we Oh, we got oh. carbide pellets released. All right. Let's see. Oh, I see some inflation. I'm seeing more inflation. Oh, I think we're seeing some rising. This is amazing. Oh! <laughs> All right, so in this balloon here, we have some pretty highly flammable stuff. And we're going to see if we can get it as filled as possible before we try and ignite it. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Oh my gosh, we have quite a fair amount of expansion. Maybe we do know what we're doing. <laughs> so at what point is it so big that we're afraid to light it? There is no point. There is no point. Mm -hmm. We have a really long stick. <laughs> <laughs> Except that I'm worried that I have to hold this on while we light it. No, 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 because we're going <laughs> to tie it. No, we're going to leave it on. Oh, really? Because I think we're going to lose Isn't gas gonna... if no. we tie it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So we had to figure out how we were going to safely light our acetylene-filled balloon. And we decided there was nothing better than a big stick uh, with a flame on the end. So, <laughs> Megan, if you would light my big stick lighting and if you would now stay back all right so i now have my flame uh, and I'm a good uh yard or so away from the balloon so still don't try this at home but if you try it at home try it this way uh so here we go I think I have to wait for the flame to break through the, the latex. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, so I, it was pretty amazing. We had, so we're still getting some burnage and the, the balloon is totally blackened. <laughs> yep. uh, but we had a significant amount of light created from uh, from our experiment. And then we learned that latex is flammable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah. Same, and melty. Same classic reaction. We have calcium hydroxide uh, created and uh, definitely a fair amount of fire. Fire extinguisher maybe also a good idea. But very successful all around. I can definitely see, uh, you know, lots of application. Yeah. So I hope it comes back. Yeah. I think carbide, miners, carbide, uh, tungsten helmets for everyone. For miners and everybody. And now it's starting to smell bad. So we're definitely going to end the experiment now as we move away from potentially bad gases. So thanks again. We always have fun here. So do come again. Good night. Good night. <laughs>